However, you know what I truly do love? <laughs> I love me some Falco. Because we got Tole on the screen right now. And we also have Vivi yeah, on the screen right now Yeah, we got Vivi's... Vivi been playing Terry? Yup. Oh, Vivi shoot. has been getting into it with the Terry. He wants the Terry. He wants to see... Like, um, maybe I can have the Terry and I can have the Lucario. Like, hello? Mm -hmm. Like, look at that crack shoot. Like, just getting into it with the crack shoot. And then now we're just kind of playing a little bit more of neutral. And kind of a little bit to add about this matchup is that, like, Vivi doesn't play. I, I don't really think he plays more so neutral sometimes. Like, he's been, even now that we see, we've been playing, um, we've seen, like, a lot of, like, aggression coming in from Vivi. But that aggression is just getting met with even more aggression because we know how Tilde plays. We know how he be. Oh, yeah. Tilde is always up in your face 100%. Although, that's interesting to see how that dynamic will work now that we've got the uh, super meter on. Well, we had the super meter. Yeah, uh, it, was, it came, and then it went, and then it got, it yep. got gone. Time is fleeting. Uh, time is fleeting. It's looking like this damage is fleeting right now because look at this disadvantage that's going on right now. Already 71% and almost about to lap. Already Oh my god! Wow! Two stocks? Hello! Okay. Literally, what's going on here? Yeah, I don't know. That, that's a huge momentum shift on that one. VV burning the air dodge on that one early to try to get back, but Tilde, again, as much as he's known for the aggression, he's known for taking advantage of your fear of the aggression. Mm hmm, absolutely. And. Just getting into this. The rest of this. Oh, that. Oh, Bernuckle is going to take that stock. We are at two stocks, two one, and it's just looking like Tilde is trying to pile on the rest of this damage. Tilde wants like to get this done and over with at this point. Look at that. That fair sending him right off stage, and that reflector trying to. Oh. I do like oh. the idea. I think that um, short burn knuckle there was meant to bait like a down air on that one, but Tilde just not committing too much. Still able to get the punish. Absolutely, and the thing is, I really love that every time, you know, Tilde has had oh, no. BB at these percents, he's made it so that he never has to deal with Go. And it's so good on Tilde start taking that first stock with a clean two stock, I'm gonna say, pretty, you know, convincingly, a pretty nice two stock. That was very amazing coming yeah. in from Tilde. That that one sequence for the second stock is definitely a, uh, a mental guard break, if you will, mm -hmm. you know? Because... You, you come in on a fresh stock, you're like, okay, I'm on a down foot, I gotta get my act together, I really gotta take control of this, and then you just have like a third of your capacity to play just taken away from you. Absolutely, and that's just what happened. That's what, you know, Vivi had to deal with, and I'm definitely, we are definitely looking at a character switch coming in from Vivi, going back to Lucario, and you know, I, I, I think Vivi just like, Maybe he doesn't like this matchup. And we're also going to Kalos. We love it here. But for sure, um, definitely just love the way that, you know, Vivi kind of goes about playing Lucario as well. Maybe, you know, we, we won't be able to see the Terry come out for too long. Yeah. But I, it's, it's, it's there to stay. I, I think I could see how the matchup could be taken as uh, kind of difficult in the sense that both characters sort of want to get a little bit close and Lucario likes to play in that mid-range just outside of his uh, pokes, or at least Vivi's Lucario does. Mm -hmm. But that does leave you open for Tilde with a lot of really good hitboxes, fast movement speed, and honestly, aerial Ooh. dominance that can make it difficult for Vivi to get started with the safe on shield aerials that is often part of this kit. Actually, you know, just speaking about, like, you know, a lot of the kits these characters have, I definitely really love, you know, we had two mix-ups where, you know, it was just wall playing into back air. Super good from both characters, and I think that, you know, second one from Falco actually ended in VV losing their first stock. So now we're just, you know, seeing this neutral and then not even neutral anymore because right now, Vivi's just taking a lot of damage. Vivi has to find some way to land, some way to get out of these oh, combos no. that Tilde is just known for doing. Tilde is making sure that, you know, you can never get out, you can never have, you know, fun time in disadvantage. And again, we see that mix up, but unfortunately it doesn't really work out too well because Vivi can't get out of the corner and now Vivi is on their last stock. And Tilde is up two stocks. This is looking like a repeat of the first game at this point. Yeah, that was rough. See, you see that counter again, but we saw uh, Tilde in that previous stock Knocked up in the air, Vivi went for a delayed air dodge till it was there to punish it. Vivi was like, okay, I'll try to swing back down with the down air stall in the air a little bit, got punished again. It's like, what do I land with? You know, Vivi's I mean, trying to look for these options here until they sort of just uh, play in the center right now. Literally, like, like, Vivi has not been able to land comfortably this whole entire game. And getting that down air into back air, just another one of those things where it's just like, what can Vivi do? Vivi doesn't, you know, 
feel comfortable, especially whenever he gets hit. So it's like I can't be defensive enough to actually get killed or, or to get hit. And I can't even, you know, like be aggressive enough so that I can start doing, you know, the damage that I need to do. Oh, that was a very fortunate trade because if it wasn't traded, I think that was a kill confirm. All right, toss back off stage. What's the option going to be? Or, or a sphere in the other direction for the second time. I wonder if that's an input error or if that's an intentional error, but I'm not sure. It might be to uh, go for charge mix ups, but I don't know. For sure, but right now, this is looking very scary for Vivi. If Vivi throws an Aura Spear, that could end up in Vivi, you know, dying. If anything like that, a freaking Fal Falco Phantasm into back air, that is just spelling a horrible time right there. And very, very nice mix-up again. The, getting the one thing I will say that is a positive for Vivi right now, as we've seen, uh, it's difficult to find a kill confirm with Falco at this point. Uh, Vivi's just sort of falling out of everything, and this is essentially Max Rage Lucario. Uh, whoa, what? Mm -hmm. Pardon me? Hearing. Uh, can, can we see that again real quick? How, how, how far down was Vivi when that happened? I am gonna be completely honest. Look at, look at this. <laughs> you can kind of tell Vivi was just like, okay, I'm, I'm over it, like, okay. Like, <laughs> yeah, that was definitely a moment. <laughs> Period. Sure. Oh my god. <laughs> also, okay, I'm gonna point this out really quick, just a little bit. Just mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. It's the way that I changed up my hair. Yeah, I wasn't ready for the switch up. 